What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Shree Bad, and I'm just here to tell you that I'm a liar, okay? I think in my last video, I told you guys I was going to do a live. I lied. I'm not doing no live. I have 99 subscribers. You might not be able to see that when you look at my page. When I hit 100, then I'll do a live. All right? Excuse me. Here's the other thing. I was going to do a live video on what this Tantra Yoga is and all of that extra crap. I'm not doing it, okay? I'm really not doing it. I'll explain a couple of things to you, and then I'm going to tell you why I'm not going to explain your fuckery, okay? In New York City, if you want to take a tantric yoga class that has to deal with sex, they don't even call it tantra yoga, they call it a tantric sex workshop, that's what they call it. It is usually led by two people, a man and a woman. If it is a LGBTQ based tantric sexual workshop, then it will be led by the appropriate people. But usually it is a man and a woman. And in every description of a legitimate tantric sex workshop, they will tell you if you have been molested, if you have been raped, or have had any sexual trauma, you might not want to come to this workshop. Have you ever been raped? Have you ever been molested? I'm not just talking about women, I'm asking men too. Because there's a growing number of men who will admit to being molested, not thinking anymore that it was a cool ass rite of passage for a woman up to 10 or 15 years older to touch them and make them do things that they didn't want to do. You see, y'all not ready for tantric sex. And don't mistake it. Let somebody tell you about naked yoga. At the end of the day, it's fucking, okay? It's boga. B-H-O-G-A. It's not yoga. It is the enjoyment of pleasure. It is Kama. Like Kama Sutra. And it is so easy for your ego to get involved. This is why y'all need to purify chakras if you want to put chakras into the mess. Y'all motherfuckers ain't even got dick control. Y'all ain't even got poom poom control. Some of y'all are just evil with your shit. I was about to put out this, this, this live or whatever the fuck I was going to put out. Next thing you know, I hear about revenge porn. And yes, revenge porn is worse than doxing. Basically, the same shit on a different level. Now it's like... A violation, a real violation, a real rape, real molestation, real victim. I mean, on a physical level, let me change that. Because making a false federal claim against somebody is a violation. But it's not exactly physical, like putting out somebody's video. And then somebody else sells it for money. And all y'all happy about that. All of them. Thanks for the clicks. Thanks for the views. That's why I'm not telling y'all shit. What do you want to hear? That y'all get butt naked and you do yoga and, and, and you got to put the dick in the ear and all this extra shit? Fuck y'all, man. Y'all not ready to know what real Tantra is. Y'all not ready to understand pure Shiva and pure Shakti. Y'all not ready for none of that shit. Half of the men out here that would love to know about it need to be fucking celibate. 
And we can tell that the idiots out here are probably way too celibate and need to find a monogamous relationship with somebody or just anybody. Because they're looking for anybody and it's not working out well. How can you reach the highest levels of a certain space when, when you don't even know how to wipe your ass? You don't even know how to treat people with respect. Hell, we women don't even treat each other with respect. It's just some evil ass shit going on. Why am I explaining Shakti to y'all? For what? Women condoning this bullshit? There's no justification for this shit. There's no justification for rape. There's no justification for molestation. There's really no justification for doxing. Even if they did it to you first. So what? This person put out a picture of somebody's ass, so it's okay for them to give somebody else a video of their poom poom. None of it is cool, man. And tell you the truth, I don't want to see it. So why am I sitting here explaining something pure to motherfuckers that don't want to hear it? Y'all want to go and watch the video. Y'all want to go and pay $3 for some shit. Go ahead, do that. Y'all want to watch this bickering back and forth between all these people that are fucking bugging. You giving them the clicks and the views. I don't want it, yo. I don't want to be a YouTube star. Fuck all that shit. It's not like I'm not going to continue to explain yoga and my yoga breakdowns. Because like I told y'all, yoga comes from Tantra. Okay? Don't let nobody else fool you. I deal with the other aspects of Tantra. Not the ones that deal with sex. You see, I was molested as a child. I was almost raped a couple of times. So I'm not going to no tantric sex workshop. And I'm damn sure not learning it from no man. It is a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing. And when you go to those tantric sex workshops, they tell you bring a partner if you can. Because you sure as hell don't want to be teamed up with some strange-ass motherfucker that you don't know. And you have no idea about their energy. And you have no clue where the fuck they come from. Does that make any sense to you? It's bad enough half of y'all don't even know how to use fucking condoms. STDs running all over the damn place. Y'all don't give a shit about nothing. Why am I talking to you about the higher levels of anything? That's why I'm coming at you the way I'm coming at you with my yoga breakdowns. Because if I hit you from the top, your head will explode. You ain't doing half the shit that you need to do even be able to handle what the fuck I'm talking about. Or what I want to talk to you about. Because I guarantee you, if I was to tell you what a real tantric meditation was, you turn off right now. But don't worry, I'm not going to last no more than 10, 11 minutes. Anybody that seriously wants to know what tantric meditation is about between a man and a woman or, or you and your significant other, no matter what your sexual orientation is, hit me up somehow. Go to my about page. See if it says email link. If you can email me, email me, okay? I'll put my email in, 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 in the description here, okay? Email me, and if I feel like you're ready, I might to tell you. You might not be happy. It's not what you're looking for. There's people to go to to get that, let me see your poom poom, and let me see this, and let me see that. I'm not that one. Never was. Because, you see, even though I can do yoga in the littlest amount of clothes possible. I would only do that if I'm in a room that's 116 degrees. Otherwise, I'm doing yoga fully clothed with big clothes on, not no tight wearing things unless it's summertime. Yoga meets me where I am. I don't have to get butt naked in front of no goddamn body. Except for myself. Do you know that one of the most advanced forms of Hatha Yoga is to simply close your eyes and hope that you are in the same fucking spot when you open them back up? 
Why do I have to see myself naked if I'm beyond this body, you fucking assholes? This whole weekend done pissed me off, yo. And of course snakes are involved. Of course snakes are involved. I don't know these women, okay? So I'm not speaking about these women. Even though these women, some of these women are doing some evil ass shit, there are snakes involved, male snakes involved. Why am I showing you the real Tantra if you too busy following a snake? And yeah, Shiva got snakes in his hair. And I told you Shiva hung out in the cemetery with goblins and all that shit. But don't get it fucking twisted. Shiva ain't no snake. Real Shiva can control that shit. All right? He could be like, yeah, I chill with y'all, but I'm still me and I walk away. Shiva wouldn't treat no Shakti the way that some of these men treat these women or allow what these fucking women to do out here. And women, y'all ain't no better. There is no justification for none of this shit. Like I said, legitimate beefs are legitimate beefs. Y'all met before. Y'all talked on the phone for a long period of time. Ooh, and ooh. I need to mind my business. As a matter of fact, for this, I need to mind my business. But because of this, I'm not telling y'all the real shit. When y'all get ready, y'all holler at me. Otherwise, y'all fuck off and go continue listening at this other bullshit over here. Go on Instagram and look up Shorty's video where she pops a pussy. And, 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 and go to this website and pay her $3. And go to these men's... um. Uh, videos and lives to hear they fuckery. Go ahead. That's what y'all like. That's what y'all need in life. Don't get me wrong. I can get involved in the fuckery too, but not like that. Not like that, Wody. That shit wrong, yo. Man, y'all go ahead. I hope and pray y'all understand what real Tantra is. I hope and pray, because y'all ain't never going to figure it out if y'all try to get it through sex. I hope y'all eat the most meat in the world. But I guarantee y'all right now, because of this shit, I'm going to do my best to take a break from me. At least for a week. Ahimsa, y'all. Ahimsa means non-violence. That's one of the that's one of the eight limbs. That's a part of the eight limbs of yoga. See, we ain't even get the Raja yoga yet. Man, I ain't talking to y'all about shit. Bye, bitches.